Yeah, it's a, it's a new initiative from the AFL, which gives our tools an opportunity to go go over to Melbourne, spend some time with AFL clubs and AFL players, predominantly tools. So Brad Ottens, Drew Petrie, they'll help with their, their ruck craft and their tall craft. And they've got Nick Del Santo, Mark Williams and Luke Power helping with their skills. So it's an opportunity to develop their, their football and something we're really proud of to have two kids, both Tim and Jake, part of. So yeah, it's really good. Yeah, look, it's, it's, a, it's a great carrot and a great opportunity for Jake. Obviously being a, a multi-talented athlete coming from basketball, we only got him into the program before Christmas. So to have this opportunity for him in the football development is fantastic. And what it does is it allows the pathway to continue for our tall kids where they can choose football over other sports. Um, I'm all for kids playing other sports and developing their, their skills and their awareness, but to be able to offer a pathway for our talls specifically uh, is a great opportunity for, for both Tim and Jake. Tim, first of all, he's been our ruckman in the academy for the last three years, so he's a big bodied uh, ruckman and he can carry, carry the load of rucks, so no doubt he's on AFL clubs list just for his sheer, sheer size and ability to control the ball at centre bounces. Um, he's got to work on his on his goal kicking and, and other positions, which we're going to work with him this year, and that's where this Tools camp will be a real benefit to Tim, really uh, showing AFL clubs what he can do apart from playing ruck. So sometimes you get pigeonholed, and, and Tim, I think, has got a great upside, uh, and this will hopefully work with him. Having some tutelage from Brad Ottens and Drew Petrie will probably give him some confidence to, to move around the ground and, and really show AFL clubs what he can do. Um, Tim's a big body is a beast on the field and his competitiveness is what, what we love and, and what he'll be able to bring to an AFL club and hopefully some, uh, I guess some tips from AFL players will really, really help him on that way. Um, Jake on the other hand, he's very raw, you know, he was a state um, paddle boarder, uh, basketballer, so he's just a, a really strong athlete, he's fit, he's, he's fast, he's, um, he's athletic, his ball skills are elite for a, a new player to football. Um, but he's got to work on his game sense and, and getting to know the game and where to put his body and, and all those sorts of things. But at the moment, we're, we're really happy with, with how he's going and it's and it showed by his in, invitation to this camp. Um, with Matthew Armstrong, um, what sort of a role did he have with getting you across? Was he in conversations with you for quite a while in the lead up to it? He always used to come up to me and just hint at it. And one day after a basketball game last year, he just said, do you want to do it? And spoke to my parents about it, and then it's been good from there. Transition was kind of, you know, pretty easy actually. Um, it's a lot more professional as well than what I'm used to, so it's been fun. More open up, and like you can do a lot more stuff in it. Like it's just you can run around, and there's a lot more space in the game, stuff like that. Um, we'll be spending a bit of time at Carlton, and also a little bit at Essendon, so it should be good. Go out there and do my best, I guess. Try, learn new things, just experience to like learn from them, and yeah, just listen to what they have to say. It's something that I've I've been pretty strong with the talent managers about is finding cross code athletes and cross code talent, and obviously Tasmania's population is not huge, and um, we've got to really scour the other sports to find athletes. And as you know, you can find some diamonds in the rough. And I remember Matt came to me before Christmas, and he was up and about. He, he said he think he'd found one, and we, we we went and looked at Jake, and he came down to training and. I don't think he had a pair of boots at that stage, so we got a pair, dog got him a pair, and we worked hard with him over summer, and it's just good to see, you know, the results in Jake and, and the effort that Matt's gone to to, to get him into the program, and, uh, you know, to see, to see him enjoying it and being part of the team and, and that sort of stuff is good. It's reward, because that's what we're here to do. We're here to find talent, develop talent, and for them to get the best of their ability, and if that's to get drafted, Unreal. If it's not, then they'll have a great career in the TSL in Tassie and hopefully they're not lost to football and they, and they continue playing football.